Hello and welcome to Severe Weather Awareness Week here in Georgia. The following information was prepared by the National Weather Service in Atlanta, Georgia. Today we will be discussing one of nature's most destructive and deadliest weather phenomena, tornadoes, but more importantly, how to stay safe from tornadoes. Did you know that a tornado is a violently rotating column of air that extends from the base of a thunderstorm and is in contact with the ground? This is different from a funnel cloud that is not in contact with the ground. Tornadoes come in all shapes, sizes, and intensities can do tremendous damage to anything in their path. This is why it's important for us to discuss tornado safety. First, let's just see how vulnerable Georgia is to tornadoes. Did you know that part of north and west central Georgia is actually in a tornado alley? This alley is called Dixie Alley, and like the tornado alley in the plains, this area is especially vulnerable to strong and violent tornadoes. It's here where some of the highest number of tornado-related deaths occur, and largely due to the more populated areas across the Deep South. All of Georgia is prone to tornadoes, as shown by this map that shows the number of tornadoes by county from 1950 through 2012. Note how active north and west central Georgia counties have been, with numerous counties experiencing more than 20 tornadoes during this period. Now, over the same time frame, Georgia averages around 26 tornadoes per year. And most of them occur during the late winter and spring months when cold fronts push down from the north and clash with warm, unstable air across the south. The top 12 Georgia tornado events since 1950 include many of the north Georgia counties and as recent as April 27, 2011, when a widespread tornado event produced 16 tornadoes across mainly north and central Georgia, killing 15 people and injuring another 120 or more. This is why it's important that everyone in Georgia take tornado preparedness serious. It could save you and your family's life. So how do you prepare? First of all, before and during any stormy weather, be sure to listen to your local news or NOAA weather radio to stay informed about possible upcoming threatening weather. Second, know your community's warning system. Communities have different ways of warning residents about tornadoes, with many having sirens intended for outdoor warning purposes. Third, pick a safe shelter or room in your home, business, or school, and make sure all household members, co-workers, or classmates know where to go during a tornado. We will talk more about where to go specifically in later slides. Fourth, practice tornado drills so that everyone knows what to do if a tornado is approaching. And finally, consider having your safe room reinforced. Plans for reinforcing an interior room can be found at the FEMA website shown on the screen. Now let's get more specific about what to do based on your location. If you are in a sturdy home and plan to take cover there, first thing you want to do is always maintain a constant weather watch. Watch the local weather news and listen to your NOAA weather radio. Now, if you see a tornado coming or a tornado warning is issued for your area, the safest place you can go is in the basement. Your chance of survival goes up tenfold if you can get underground. But going to the basement may not be enough. Therefore, it's also recommended that you create additional protection by maybe getting under a sturdy desk or under the stairs. That way, if debris comes flying in, you are better protected. But what if your house does not have a basement? then just go to the most, the lowest level of the house, the most interior room. Look for those small interior rooms like a bathroom or maybe a closet. Use coats, blankets, even bicycle helmets to better protect yourself. These rooms should be near the center of the house and away from exterior walls. If you are in a business or school, go to the interior room, away from windows, an inside hallway, would also be very safe. Also consider an inside stairwell on the lowest floor with solid interior walls around you. But mainly go where you are told to go to be safe. Students, go where your teachers tell you to go. Do not use auditoriums or gymnasiums as they may be vulnerable to collapse. Now let's get more specific about where to go if you are in a mobile home. Once again, the key to survival is planning, especially for those living in mobile homes. Mobile homes just are not sturdy enough to withstand the destructive winds of even the weakest tornadoes. 
The best plan is to have a sturdy shelter area already designated for you and your family to go and that you have access to that location 24 hours a day. But you have to plan ahead and make sure you have enough time to get there, whether you are walking or driving. This means you should always be aware when the weather forecast calls for even the possibility of severe weather. So listen to your local news media or no weather radio to stay informed. Make sure you find out what's going on. You can even use your smartphone to sign up for special weather alerts so that you can get the warnings. If you are in a mobile home and severe weather is expected, it's recommended that you get out and go to your safe shelter. If you see a tornado coming or a tornado warning has been issued for your area, you need to seek your sturdy shelter immediately. If you do not have time to get to your safe shelter, get out of your mobile home, take cover in a ditch or low-lying area, lie flat, and protect your head from flying debris. Remember, it is imperative you stay informed when severe weather is the possible, possible in your area. The fastest way to get warnings for your area is by the NOAA Weather Radio. These radios are available at most retail outlets that sell electronic products. For a list of the places you can go to buy a No Weather Radio, look at the website on the screen. Be sure you always have at least two ways to receive your alerts so you can be ready to take action to protect you and your family. This concludes our lesson on tornadoes and tornado safety. You can visit these websites for more information and contact us through our email located on the screen. Remember, be prepared and stay informed. It could save you and your family's life. Thank you for your time.